You've seen me do 50 days. You've seen me do 100 days. Well, now it's time to do a hun- we're doing 100 days again. This time, we are playing on the most populated wow. server in the whole of Europe. This server routinely sees a population of 900 plus players and with no group limit, playing on this server as a little baby solo? It's gonna be tough to <laughs> say the least. But that's not to say we don't do some dead, magical things in this run through, if you know what, what I mean. So strap in, grab a snack, grab a drink, because it's gonna be a long one. Enjoy. And so it begins, day one. <clears throat> oh, the sun. She rises. And I spawned in, and it was sunrise, which is very rare if you play Rust, and especially if you're a Rust content creator, you'll know that when you spawn in, it's pretty much always gonna be nighttime, and people just started ignoring me. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> wow. Hey, bro. Why is everyone blanking me, dude? What the? We didn't have much on the agenda for day one except really find cloth uh, and get it back down. And I found cloth, but I also found this bear. Please, no, Mr. Bear, please. <laughs> Which, as you can see, killed me in a very smooth manner. Then after that, all I had written in my notes here is pumpkins. Pumpkins, good. Then, after bonking a tree for a bit and gathering enough cloth for a bow, I ventured into junkyard. Oh no! But sadly, I did not make it on account of the fire. But I wasn't gonna let that deter me because as you will see and as I already know, I am gonna die a lot in this playthrough. I'm on a thousand player server, I'm solo and I'm with just endless numbers of clans. So it's gonna happen, so you gotta have thick skin. So what did I do? I hit another tree, I got another bow and I have written here, killed tree guy. So tree guy, I'm real sorry buddy. <laughs> what the? How the hell do they have semis already, dude? That's crazy. Fuck me. He found me. There's two of them. No, dude. But karma came for me swiftly and without mercy. So I figured it was high time to take a different tack and go somewhere I hadn't been. The hills. It looked pretty inviting up there, so I went to see what I could find. Day one's coming to a close. I have a clothes on my back. See a TC? Don't do it there. <laughs> there is a dude. Oh! Jeez. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere, huh? Got a little bit of stuff, so I'm thinking I might try and put a base down now. Oh my god, he's got a pistol. Okay, dude. <sighs> Looks like we're not building anywhere. And there we have it. The swift end to my first day on the server. Now what are you thinking? That sucked. Yeah, it did. It felt really awful when I was doing it. But we have 98 days. 98? 99. 99 days left of this playthrough. So remember what I said. Tough skin. Day two. Let's go. We started off and I have written here, base guy. What does that mean? I don't remember. Let's find out together. Okay. Oh, nice base, mate. Bro. It's my base, don't kill me, please. <laughs> I just spawned, bro. You're good. Hey, man. It's me again. I don't suppose you have any cloth, do you? Because there's just none out here. Then I've written cloth guy, who I actually am now realizing is also base guy. Hello. This guy's cool. You I like him. Good, bro. 
Yeah, man. I just need uh, 30 cloth if you have it spare. If not, no worries, but I just thought I'd ask. I'm trying to make a ball, but there's no cloth. I give you, I give you. Oh, thank cloth. you. Oh, thanks, bro. What a guy. I thought he was trying to play me, be like, oh, I don't speak English. Well, I speak great English. But, uh, oh. Next up, I have poetically here what is called the spear incident. Not sure what that is. Let's find out together. Why have I got a spear? Fuck, bro. I made a spear. No. <laughs> Bro. I always feel bad about killing makers, but they do have some good stuff, you know? Why are they? Great. Sorry, bro. Oh. Ah, karma, we meet again. <laughs> Next I have written down here, floating thing. I literally have zero, like, when I make these videos, I write these things down in my notes, like, on my phone as it happens, so I can remember what's going on throughout each day. I have no idea what this means. So. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? What is this? You did it, face punch. You did it. Floating sanctuary. Pooper. Then I found just infinite nodes. So many nodes in this place, and I was I was pumped on this. There are so many nodes. I don't really Goodness. know why. You can find nodes anywhere in this game, but just like mark this is uh, on uh, on a server like this, so big, so busy. It's just kind of fascinating to see so many nodes. Anyway, that's the end of day two. Day two, and we leap right into day three. And on day three, nodes. says here decisions <laughs> are made. That's big. Yeah. Oh, ladies and gents. I guess it's technically day three right now. But I've been stood here in a bush. <laughs> trying to, like, plan out what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this, because this is where we're going to live. I've decided. I'm going to just get a base down, and we're going to live here. Oh, I think I speak for everyone when I say, I like decisive, Ben. So that is exactly what I did. I hit trees. I hit nodes. I made foundations. I made doors. I made a TC. Not necessarily all in that order. <laughs> and I put a base down. We have got a base, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the start YouTube of the wild. Alright, let's get a bag down. Alright, we have a base. Part one of the plan is complete. <laughs> Sulfur node there already. Love that. Well, let me get my airlock on. We're good to go. We're rocking. We're a little bit away from where the nodes are. That being just up there, but I'm okay with that. I can run to and from. This way I'm a bit actually closer to things, you know. Then I saw a bear, shot at the bear, and the bear ran away, never to be seen again. Bye bear. I ran into this guy who clearly just doesn't like playing Rust. Bruh. <laughs> he had fun killed before I could even shoot him. 
But then I managed to kill myself a bear and harvest it for all of its yummies. And then right before day three ended, I made a bad decision. Oh fuck, he's got a crossy. I'm fucked here, boys. Yeah, GG. Shit. Don't you worry, day three wasn't gonna end on a low note for me. Oh my god, that's big. I can get both these things home. That is huge. All that cooking on the run. The game is treating me. I think these guys are going to be my biggest issue. The P2 guys. That's okay. Oh yes, look at all of this. Progress is progress, guys. I don't care what you say. Metal pick, too. That is so huge. Got enough for a furnace now. This is amazing. I know, you're probably laughing at me saying, Ben, Keyword, whatever you want to call me. You've just got a metal pick and a bit of low grade. Who cares? For me, that was everything. After the hard, like, couple days that I had, which... <laughs> Are gonna get way harder. This was big. This was really big. And then, <laughs> oh crap! Day four. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Enjoy day four. My game's froze. My game's crashed. Guess it went down for a restart. Kind of embarrassing that I don't remember the name, <laughs> the name of the server. I think it was this. I think it's back up. Oh fuck! Look at this queue. What? We're gonna have to buy VIP, bro. If I get this wrong. <laughs> VIP purchased. Sorry, what? <laughs> Where's my VIP? Alright, let's see. We're loading in now. Alright, this is the wrong. <laughs> this is fuck. <laughs> I've bought VIP for the wrong server, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My dumbass bought VIP for the wrong server. I've now purchased the correct VIP. Fuck, oh, wait, is this the right one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glad that I just wasted seven pounds. No time absolutely to wallow in sadness though because I had an event coming up in my cannon. This was a cannon event. Holy fuck, he's got a saw. Okay, if I can get this. Oh! He's dead! <laughs> he's dead! Get the saw. Yep. There it is. Holy fuck. I need to go home. Get me home. Oh, Rust Lord, please.
home, get home, get home. Get me home. Get me home. Did I just get a star? We just got ourselves a freaking saw. Goodness. Hell fucking yes. Oh my god. A semi automatic rifle. Come on, baby. Let's go. From a bow, too. <coughs> Holy moly. Wow. I'm impressed by myself with that one. <laughs> Woo. Jesus. Okay. And a med, which is massive. Right, I need to get some wood. Alright, so day four kind of passes by with a bit of a blur here. We kill two guys. Stood there. That. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, we had a little shack. I head myself to Mining Outpost, and we get a small little win home. We hit the roads for some comps and barrels and such. I got into a fight with this interesting node fella. Got him. I died, and then I picked a fight with oh, Groot. Fuck. That's bad. A nice place to take actually. Shit. I'm dead. Fuck man. Come on. It's always the easy ones you can't hit, man. Naked in this game are the hardest thing to hit. I <laughs> oh, bloody hell. By the time day five was creeping its little head around the corner, I decided it was high time to make myself a crossbow and a nail gun. After that pretty embarrassing death. <laughs> but day five reared its lovely little head. But I, uh, well, I died to some saw guys. Bro. I checked out the metal detector on the tech tree. <laughs> so cheap. I Bro, got honey. myself a bear and a boat. What? Chill, 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 bear. What the frick? What the f <laughs> What? <laughs> First the bear, now the boat. What's going on? Rust? Are you okay? Then day five came to a very soothing end. Day six, we started out with a lovely recycle run that I did in the nighttime as not to die. <laughs> then I just wrote, yay. I assume I got home with all of that. Then I decided it was time to farm some scrap. And then... What? Good grief. That's my cue to go. We've got a revolver. I learnt myself up the metal detector and I thought it could be fun to try and use it. And then I saw a five man that I knew lived close to my base but didn't know took a path by my base very regularly. So it looks like that's their like route home. I can't stay there. I gotta move my base. But ignoring all responsibilities, I decided to go out and do something way more fun, which was metal detect. This is the first time I'd ever done it, and uh, I was wondering what you could get from the eight ground. <laughs> all of that for eight scrap. Yo! That's actually huge! There's one right below me too. Salvage that- what the f- This is OP! Now, this is where I was going to build my base, and whilst I was here, I met a new friend. Hey bro, how you going? Do you want to do some metal detecting with me? Have you seen this thing? Look. Look at this fucking thing. Beep. 
Beep. <laughs> uh, let's find something. In fact, here, take take this. Like I say, I was planning to build out here my new base, so I was getting materials, but I wasn't alone. Heels really. No real cover. I don't know how much ammo he's got. I've not got much. I either kill him or I die here. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's how fights work, but you know what I mean. I don't think I'll get it home. Got him. He's got some good stuff too. Nice new revolver. I don't know what to throw out. I've got so much on me already. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Where's his friend? Crossbow. But I kill his buddy. Over here. Here he is. Ah, he took everything. Okay, he's got all of it. Not bad. That was a successful metal detecting run. Huge! <laughs> Look at all of that, man. Holy! We freaking loaded out here, boys. Yeah, I've got more than enough stone now to make a new base. And look at all these tools, dude! Spare crossies. Spare everything, man. Let's go make a new base. And a new base I went to make. And also made a new friend. Remember the dude who I gave the hatchet to? I made friends with him and decided to join a group with him. So we didn't, uh, you know, run into each other and kill each other because he seemed pretty cool. But you know the story by now. Foundations, walls, doors, TCs. Not all necessarily in that order, but we had a new base up and we were feeling good. We had a new little friend living near us in the jungle and things were certainly looking up. Day 7 rolls around. Right. We got myself my last loot run in to move all of the base loot over into the new one and we were all moved in. Sweet. We are moved in. I've written here P2 guys. Not sure why I hit tab there, but all right. And then I failed an eco raid. Shot you trap? I hope not. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, day eight. I tried finding the P2 guy's house. Maybe there's somewhere this way. I've been this way yet? Not really. Apart from when I found all the notes. I did another eco raid. A good amount of stuff though from those dudes. Oh yeah, here are those aforementioned dudes I found five minutes earlier on the way back to the eco raid. Oh, 
de Maule. Day 9 I spent most of it away for dinner but I came back to do some more metal detecting and my neighbors had lent me some scrap very nice. Wait, is there one right outside my house? Oh my god there is! Thank you. They want a revolver. And I'm more than happy to give them one. Day 9 came to a subsequent close. Day 10 I tried my luck at a really big recycle run. Come on. Come on. No! I found another coffee can helmet. And I did a recycle run with the boys, which was a success, and a huge road run. And then, no. once again, DC'd what? from the server. Why? <laughs> it doesn't say anything in chat. No, dude. End of day 10. End of my day 2. It is now 9.30 p.m. I've been playing for a while. That's for sure. But we are one tenth of the way through. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good. <sighs> I have bad news. I think it's day 11, right? None of my bags remain. Even though I had so many, which is very strange to me. Do you believe I've been raided? Yeah. Oh man, no, I had the saw too. Yeah, that isn't my door. I am full raided. My own fault. Should have added more doors. I was low on time though. Uh, Thursday, and then on the Friday I was out all weekend. I've just got home from a birthday. Ah, uh, and it's. It's Sunday evening right now. We're gonna have to build back up. That's fine. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Yes, yes, all very sad. But what did I tell you? We got a hundred days and 88 days left in this playthrough to make a big difference. And I am about to stumble into the rest of my wipe. This raid was a blessing in disguise. This forced me north. North, I tell you, to the satellite dishes. And what I found there was the remainder of my days. So, it was time to nut up or shut up. I'm hoping because it's like a weekday <laughs> and it's morning. I might be able to get a good, oh yes. I might be able to get a decent start going on. Oh baby, and what did I tell you? A decent start we had, I, I died. But now it was day 13. And that meant that I, well, I, well, I died. Again. Oh, I spawned. No, please. <laughs> but remember what I said, tough skin. So I picked myself back up and I did what I do best. I killed a defenseless naked who had a little bit of stuff to his name. And by that, I mean he had nothing. But then directly after that, I made a really big find at a base. Oh, we take this. This is big, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I watched a dude fall off a zipline. Mr. Zipline. Oh, he fell! I got shot at by a son, scurried away, and then I met the least motivated player I think I've ever met in my hours of this game. I just logged. <laughs> I shot him once and he logged off. I feel that, brother, I really do. And then, it was day 14. I see an airdrop. No! It's not unlooted! No! No, dude! Why wouldn't you come over the hill? Oh, sad. Well, that's one way to stay day 14. Start. Be chills. Be chills out here dropping me. Then I spent a little bit of time on some zip lines, mostly just for me, just to have a bit of fun. Uh, I then decided to run around and get enough scrap for a horse, after of course I died to a me. turret. Which is I then got myself a horse. We got ourselves a horse. I then found a free horse that I could have had. <laughs> There's a fucking horse right there! No! <laughs> Let 
that was uh, really made me jump, but I didn't react because I was writing down my notes on my phone that I just found that horse. <laughs> This would be perfect, but freaking door in the way, you know? Oh, good old optimistic me. I had found my forever home, and while it is in a very sorry state right now, I decided to put myself to the test and renovate it. But first, I had to forget to record! Fuck, was I not recording? No! <laughs> I found a saw in a crate! I'm at Sat Dish. I just found a saw in a crate. And there's a dude running this way. Yeah, him. So I need to hurry the fuck up and leave. Let's get out of here. Try and put this in the base. The thing that I call the base. Uh, all I need is a door and a roof and a wall. And we're good. So basically a whole base bed. At this point, I, I'm sitting here thinking like, what's the point? Like, why not just build your own base? But I went for this and I stuck with it. So you're going to have to do too. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head out and really quickly try and grab a hundred metal frags. hundred metal frags? How hard could that be? Could be too difficult, could it? I introduce to you the road turret. <laughs> oh no! I'm getting destroyed, guys! And this, this was my day 15. Yo, what up, dude? Day 16, I came outside to find a guy that was literally right outside my base, but I couldn't find him. There was someone just right outside, man. And I also went to cook lunch, so this is literally, this is the whole day. <laughs> day 17, I had a very big recycle run. Plopped down a little airlock and got very confused about the current state of the game. What? Why is everyone just running around naked with guns? I don't understand this better. Day 18, I was feeling pretty low, so I decided to run around and I made something that would pick me right back up off the ground. Oh, baby. Yes! Oh, it's not broken. Stuff! We've got stuff! Yeah, baby! We got a furnace! It's on its freaking last legs, but we got a furnace. I know what you're thinking. Once again, Keyword Ben, why are you so excited over one little furnace? And I'll tell you, alright? In fact, I challenge you. You go play solo on the 1000 pot rustopia.gg server for 100 days and get so downtrodden and beaten into the ground in the first 14 to 18 days and you tell me that you are excited when you find a furnace, alright? That's why I'm so pumped. God, I love this furnace. It got me right back out of the mud and right back into the saddle. And my base was finally starting to look like an actual base, if you can ignore the tool cupboard being extremely in the way, but we'll fix that later down the line. And to close out day 19 here, the server went down, because why wouldn't it? The server goes down so much. I thought I'd start day 20 on a positive note and head to an airdrop fight that was going on very nearby to my base. No, man. I then met this very interesting fella. <laughs> that guy just fell off and died. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I saw that happen. That was hilarious. Did you? <laughs> I then found myself a bean can and did a lot of recycling at the local gas station. But then, right outside my base were some guys with AK sat on the pylons for, I kid you not, literally half an hour leading up to these events. All right, a bit of context here, everyone. I am coming back from the recycle room where I found this bean can. I've got a lot of stuff on me, or at least a lot for me. But there's a group of three or four or five, I can't tell. They're running past now. You just saw them through the bush. And they've been camping these pylons for so long, and I've had to kill a bear, right? A pig right behind me. And I just don't know what to do. No way this guy's going for the pig. No, he's seen me! 
Get out of my bush! I'm gonna have to kill him. No, dude! No! Great. And then I lose that. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> wow. That's why I didn't run out of the bush. What are the fucking chances of that, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> I had so much shit. Oh man, even just watching that back really hurts me to my core, you know? Like, for the things that had to have gone wrong there, that just did, were honestly astounding. Like, ugh, is what it is. We have thick skin day 21. I loaded in, and I'm not raided. That's a first win. Day 21, and we are not raided. I made a new ally, which was really lovely. I'm just naked outside. Here to admire your base, mate. Give him a little thumbs up. All right, mate. Oh, nice. Yeah. No worries. I had a little look around, and I died to a lovely crunchy headshot. I also met my brand new neighbors who lived just across the road from me down in the water and went to try and make friends. Wait, you, your friend's like down. I'm gonna help you up, bro. Hey, what the fuck, bro? What are you doing? They did not want to be my friend. Day 22, and it started out quite positive. <laughs> Another satchel? That's kind of crazy. Oh, wait, I could recycle this one for a bean can, right? Are you sure? Oh, a med as well. Damn, bro. Oh, we got that back. That's huge. Actually huge. My scrap was beginning to pile up, and my head was moving towards the thought of actual guns and tier 2 weaponry right now. So that is where I set my sights. We just found a python at the gas station, boys. I also figured it was high time that I moved my TC out of the literal middle of the base and put it where it belonged. Things were really starting to come together. I also got my act together and I learnt myself med and I learnt pick. Just in case I got raided again, I didn't want to lose these valuable items. I got roof camped. And roof camped. Very nice. And I decided to take my anger out with a mild PvP run out near airfield, which is like a 20 second run from my base. To DB. Clearly very happy with my spoils. I decided it was high time I go over to my new neighbors and see what they're all about. Hey guys. Hello. It's me, your neighbor. I wondered if you wanted to join yes, a team. Bro. I wondered if you want to join a team so we don't shoot each other. What do you think? Okay, but okay. Oh, sweet. Do you want me to make it? So, so, bro, do like we we like you a stranger, guys. So we yeah. are afraid to oh. to happen. You don't, you don't need to let me I, in your base or anything. I just thought we could join a team so we don't shoot each other, you know. So we can see where each other are, you know. Okay, so I'll I'll talk with the. the uh, 
the leader guy and yeah, we can <laughs> create a team together. Awesome, dude. Let me know, I'll be here. I'm just gonna hit some barrels on the road. Okay, no, nice. it's much, just, but... if you want to trade, yeah, it's cool. Oh, okay, no, cool, cool. No, it's no problem, guy. What Let do you know. want for trade? Oh, I don't want anything for trade. I'm good. Just, uh, I just thought maybe we could join a team so we don't end up shooting each other. I like to be friendly with my neighbors. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, rest. <laughs> that was very wholesome. Now, I didn't record this, but I was out recycling at satellite dishes and sadly was killed by the guy there. So, this is me gearing up to head back and see if I can get everything back. I don't think I hit record, but I just died at sats and quite a bit on me. Nothing big, just a dude with a bow, I think, but... I can try and get back there, get my stuff. There's so many people around right now, though. It's kind of crazy. Oh, I really needed all that. I'm trying to get a tier two down and get like a weapon learnt. Please. Please still be here. I'm getting really outgunned by everyone now. Like, you can hear Tommy's C4 satchels, AKs, everything is going off. And here I am with a bow. It's got to still be here, right? Please be here. Is that him? There he is! <gasps> He's definitely seen me. Come on, buddy. Yes! Yes! Come on! That's gotta be him, right? Yes! There it is. Very big. Very big. Let's get this home now before I get freaking gunned down. Got it home and headed over to gas station for a quick recycle run before the sun went down and found myself in a sticky wicket. Damn, dude. Alright, so it's now day 24 and I'm looking around the map and I can see there's a tier 2 here for I think 1600 sulfur or something. Uh, I'm just looking to see if there's one any cheaper for something else, but I think that is what I'm going to do. I need to farm that up um, and then I think when night time strikes tonight into day 25, I will go to outpost and get that because it's night's the safest time of day for me to maneuver. I haven't got a horse, I haven't got a car, so we'll do that. It was tier 2 time. I had found a trade for something like 100 crude oil for a tier 2, so I packed my bags and I was going to make the excursion to Outpost. Right, day 25 is going to be boring because I'm just going to sit <laughs> and uh, gamble and wait until more uh, night time so I can run this all home. That's right, I decided my cargo was far too precious for me to die, so I was going to wait here until morning. And in the meantime, it was time for me to do a spot of gambling. And... well... Oh my god. <laughs> is there anything I could buy with scrap for that? Yes, there is, Ben. I bought myself a lovely oil refinery and a bunch of potatoes because I kept running out of food. Oh, and a metal hatchet. And then this dude tried to give me potatoes. Little did he know I had all the potatoes on the map.
Please do give me potatoes. <laughs> and I've got millions of them. So I now need to run. <laughs> it's day 20, it's end of day 26, so it's coming day 27 now. I need to now run all of this home. I bought a horse. So we're on the horse, but I'm a little concerned about doing this, I won't lie. Come on, baby. Woo! We did it! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was uh I was nervous, I mean I was nervous. Gigantic in stature. We have 900 scrap two to learn everything, so we have got P2 Molotov 190. Oh, I've not got enough. So close though, so close. So we just need an extra 150 scrap, but we've got everything that we wanted. Which is huge. And we can now make meds. Uh, I just need to farm enough stone to get like my honeycomb put on and then the front door. And then I can put uh, this thing down here. Which will be amazing. Shit balls. He's not here. Oh, he is. He's right there. We're actually getting some guns in the gun chest, which is huge. Bunch of components as well. And a metal detector, remember that? Remember that thing? That was crazy. Now, I went out farming because I obviously needed to upgrade my base from a 2x1 or whatever the frickin' hell it was at this state, because it was absolutely woeful. I needed materials, and whilst out farming for said materials, really not too far from my base at all, you can see it in the left there. I discovered I had a new neighbor. No, I am not please. No. Хочешь ты бери адам? English. No. Now, it's at this moment in time you can see the cogs in my head turning. I had just got back with a tier 2. I had just learnt my way down to Molotov, Molotov. Cocktail. I am staring directly at a one Molotov tov Cocktail raid. <laughs> Say that don't die as fast. So what do you think I did?
What do I do? If I don't do it soon, he'll get back and just put it on. I'll find another satchel, I'm sure. <laughs> it wasn't worth my satchel, that's for sure, but... After this, I learnt my garage way to garage door, door finally, which was Let's lovely. Go. Give my base a lot more strength. I, I also did month some month. exterior upgrades. And then, I headed out to farm. <laughs> if I get that home, we are home. Thank God. Yeah, I won't lie there. I F K'd in the bush for a while, and then when I got home, it was night. But once I did get home, it was day 28, middle of the night. So I decided to use the dark to my advantage and upgrade my base to add some honeycombing. So I wasn't just a little blob in the desert that could be raided by like 2C4. And then, well really, day 28 was kind of just filled with this. Followed by this. Fuck. And let's not forget about everyone's favorite. The roof camper. So I kind of just decided outside bad, inside good. So I took this time to upgrade my base. I plopped down my bubbler and an extra couple doors on the front to give myself like a front gate. And added a bit more honeycomb and a second floor and we were popping. Day 29, and we bought a bunch of wood because I was sick of farming, I'll be honest, and dying whilst farming. Then, after finishing off where the base is right now, I ran over to Satellite Dishes because I literally had nothing else to do. Who's this guy? I then, for whatever reason, started just hating on my own base. Man, this base is shit. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have left that how it was. I'm second guessing myself now. I've just got to roll with it. We have just got to roll with it. Then, because I needed stone to finish off the base, I headed way out to the circumferences of my local area to try and find some stone nodes. There's another one? What the frick? Did I not bring taters? Didn't bring any taters.
my six bullets. <laughs> no way they're chasing me. There's so many of them. What the fuck? Do I stop to farm this stone node? I really need it. I got six bullets, man. I can't stop. Damn, dude. They want this loot. <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I evaded them. I don't think they know where I am. Okay. It's day 30? That's right, Paz Ben. It is day 30. One third of the way there, kind of, if you're not good at maths. <laughs> but day 30 really wasn't long lived. I logged in, looked around, and decided I would just take a long, hard look at myself in the mirror and wonder why I even did this in the first place. And then I went and got breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna go get breakfast. Then I came back to a new neighbor. Good fun. Let's see if my neighbor wants to be friends, shall we? Hey, bro, are you in there? Hello? I think he already hates me. Guys. I was waiting for daytime. I can hear my neighbor. He's jumping around. Hey. Hey, neighbor. Can you hear me? Since I hadn't seen the guys just down to my left in a while, I thought I would leave my group and join with this guy and see what shenanigans we might get up to. Okay, bro. Man? Yeah, man. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to formally introduce to you the first time, Mr. Presence. You will see why I call yes. him Presence in a little bit. Uh, solo? Solo? Yeah, solo. Solo. Ooh. Sorry, brother. I then found something oh, I'd really? never used before. A backpack! Oh my god! I don't know how to use it! <laughs> what do I press? B? No. I genuinely don't know what to press, that's crazy. I then, since joining with my new neighbor, got my very first side quest with him. <laughs> this guy's- I love this guy. You're gonna love him. Bro, let's go in a uh, uh, supermarket. Okay, bro. You get something good? Oh! What? You get something good? Oh, nice, bro. Nice. <laughs> I how I house. Uh. Okay, okay. Maybe let's go go this way. This way. I told you guys would love him. He's Ukrainian and doesn't speak much English, so we speak in broken English with each other. But he's so cute. I love him. After this, day 31 kind of came to a natural conclusion. I did a bit of farming and I had a look around the area, got an extra furnace, went roaming a little bit north, and you will now find out why I call my neighbor Presents. <laughs> present, present. Stop. Present. present. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you. Honestly, that was no, my highlight see, but... of day 31, and I'm just gonna end it there. I freaking love this kid. Day 32, I died to a dude in nighttime who had a silenced AK and night vision. I died to an AK guy silenced <laughs> with night vision. Um, I went on a little airport side quest, as my neighbor liked to call it. Uh, let's go, let's go to uh, airport. Nothing much really happened there, we just looted and left. Then he got really excited at gas station. Oh, bro! What'd you get, bro? Yeah. Come to me. Oh, nice, dude. Whoa! Oh, nice. <laughs> Presents. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this kid is... I fucking love him. 
And then I finally plonked down my first mixing table. It, it would not stay here. This is so in the way. I don't know why I put it there. Day 33 was pretty quick. I died at satellite dishes and then I just sat nope. in base That's and okay. I waited for metal to smelt because in all honesty, I just, I needed a little break. Ah, uh, day 34. Well, where to begin? I got brand new neighbors who moved in right outside the base and uh, they made the area quite hostile. And during one of those hostile situations, something unfolded. Just watch. Hum. Open door. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, let's go, uh, my base. Hey. Hey. Uh, maybe uh, we'll move. Maybe huh? we'll move. Huh? What? Ah! <laughs> right, me. <gasps> this was you. <laughs> hey. Oh no! My I'm base. Sorry, no. My base, bro! Hey! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what my a base. twist in the tail! Oh, no. I didn't know. Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad, bro. Oh, my <laughs> Very bad, bro. <laughs> Hum. Mm. Peoples. Yeah. Day 35, I shot at my new neighbors. Then I accidentally walked into a raid. Helping you, idiot. Well, it's in a dream, I guess. Where's the P2 guy? After being overwhelmed yet again by just sheer numbers and, of course, a roof camper, I stumbled into what I could only describe <coughs> as a trap base at gas station. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the at fuck, this point, dude? I was so just confused, <laughs> driven oh into god. the ground, that I just kind of accepted it. And it wasn't just once. Yeah. 
He legit is just chilling in here, bro. What is this? <laughs> what is this server, bro? Okay, and then I'm dead. I went back to try and get revenge and brought presents with me, and he was super pumped. Let's go to fighting. Woo! Mission accomplished, and then on the way home, we went via satellite dishes. Bro. Home, home, home. Day 36, I noticed a base near gas station with a wood door, and in hopes that it would be the grub, I raided it and got a decent amount of stuff. Good job, good job. Day 37 and I got outplayed by a car. What the fuck, bro? What, like... Huh? I put a bunch of garage doors on my base and then I got some wood. That's it. Day 38, I went farming, filled up the furnaces, and uh, I, I actually went to bed after that. <laughs> Day 39, went to counter a raid, got roof camp at said raid, and then headed home right after. Fuck man, that timing! Yeah, GG. Day 40, not really much happened except that my neighbor What's was going like, on, bro? getting door camped or raided or something. Okay. Oh! Close the door, bro. Close the door. By the way, a while ago, he let me in the base and gave me his uh, build priv. Don't really know why, but he was very insistent on it. Um, so that's why I have it. It's like, killed some people, huh? Oh! Bro, present. Oh. Hey. Second. Thanks, man. I then ended the day with a spot of farm. While out farming on day 41, I came across this interestingly decaying slash raided base that I thought might yield a good bit of loot inside, worth one Molotov at least. So I ran home, grabbed the stuff, and came back to do that. Alright boys. I haven't really spoke much this morning. Really, just been waking up is all. We're here to raid this. is that my luck today is fu yeah so in an attempt to shake that off i headed to airfield with my lovely neighbor 
and we ran into some car people. Hopping in the fucking minivan. So boring, dude. Fuck off, man! What is this matter? Yeah, it's safe to say going? I was pretty bummed about that. I, I don't understand the whole camper meta you where you just have a base that's on wheels that you can respawn in that's armored. Anyway, that's for another time. I was pretty down. And to top it off, day 42, or the, the morning of, my neighbor left. He, he brought me into his base. He said, take what he wants. This? Because uh, okay. he was going. Or at least he, you know, <laughs> he tried to say that. Bless him. He doesn't speak English. He tried his best. All right. No, he's going, dude. I'm sad. Oh, guys, this is an emotional moment. Uh, and this made me, this made me pretty sad, I won't lie, this guy, I really like this guy, good old presents, uh, and him leaving really was the poop on top of the poop ice cream that I've been eating the past couple days, and well, things, things did not get better, I'd like to say they did, but right now, I was in a big downturn. Day 43, I just ran around, it didn't do much, uh, it kind of sucked. Day 44, I thought my luck had finally taken a turn for the better when a base right outside my front door had just decayed, exposing a bunch of loot. No, bro. What the fuck? No. But as my luck would have it, there was someone running past at that exact moment with a silenced LR300, an automatic high-powered rifle. And then after that, I never saw this person again. Like, uh, there wasn't movement outside my base for ages. This was just the luck I was having. Uh, so, day 45, I was just AFK. I needed to get out of the house because I just couldn't believe the bad luck I was having. But little did I know what was lurking around the corner. So thankfully, day 46, I thought it was time to pull myself up from my britches, get out of this down slump I was having, because I knew it was coming. I just don't think I was fully prepared for it. And it was time for me to nut up and literally shut up and start playing Rust how it was supposed to be played. Like by getting roof camp, of course. <laughs> he was naked in his roof. Day 47. 
Turns out my new neighbors, who I was planning on doing a big raid on, had been raided. Or they'd moved out. I couldn't really decide which. Someone's either raided this or they moved. Raided it, I think. Damn, bro. Then came day 48. There was a raid going on right outside my base. So I built myself up a weapon and a gear set, and I headed over. Alright boys, we're looking out my door. There's like 10 guys <laughs> on the top of this hill. There's AKs up here, there's every gun under the sun up here. The sun's going down too, so I've made some night vision. But, um, yeah, if I'm gonna win this, or get anything from this, I am gonna have to play, like, I'm gonna have to outsmart some kids. That's what I'm about to do. Or at least that's what I'm hoping I'm about to do. They're literally right up here. I might go into focus mode here and not talk, so apologies. Someone just farming while all this is going on, dude. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's crazy. My God, an AK-47 assault rifle. I was not expecting that. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, I can't tell you how good this feels, man. We've had, we've been downtrodden now for a good 10 days. But to get an AK home after a fight? Massive. Oh yeah, this was a massive boost to my confidence. As I was down in the dumps, I had been downtrodden, like I said, for 10 days. It has sucked. And I really needed this, and not even this dude cussing me out for no reason could change my mind. Camping shit. Suck my cock, you fucking piece of shit. Door cavity, dude, I just... So, like I say, it was time for me to pull myself up from my britches, and this confidence boost was the exact thing I needed to do just that. So, day 49 was pretty quick, I just... Went for a run, recycled at sats, and then the day was over. Day 50, I killed guys at a base that was getting door camped. Then I was roof camped by them, of course, why not? And then I got shot out from both sides and I just left. Day 50, it was time for me to start preparing for a big raid that I wanted to do. I had a couple bases in mind, but that was a little ways away. I decided to give myself 10 days to get ready for all of that, farming, etc., and getting a tier 3. Day 52, I got to it, upgrading my base, tried to find a tier 3 for sale, then I was rudely interrupted. Uh, uh, okay, dude. Day 53, I went and did a raid with Molotovs at night time that I thought could have been profitable. Turns out it wasn't. I then headed to Airfield. He isn't dead! Oh my god. Died at airfield, and then went back looking for some revenge. Have a gun. I 
It wasn't them, but... I don't know who that was, to be honest. I then headed over before the end of the day to satellites to do a bit of recycling. That's not all I got done. stuff and dipped. That's what I am also going to do. My neighbours then kindly crafted me a C4 so I could research it after I paid the materials Place to it. do so. I'm good. I then found myself a tier 3 workbench trade and decided it was best I waited for night time once again to safely get this home. I then spent the day in outpost gambling. I did not win. Day 56, I got my tier 3 home and placed it, looking real juicy in the base. I found out that the Tommy just straight up sucks if you don't have any attachments on it. What the frick? Then, me and my new friendly neighbours, who crafted me the C4, paid a visit to satellites. Kill them. One more. He should be dead. He's not dead. Oh, he's there, dead. <laughs> I don't have bullets. I don't have bullets. I don't have bullets. Day 57, I had two airdrops that I wanted to use. And since my friends were online, I thought it could be fun if we headed over to Airfield and threw it down there. <laughs> Boy, was I right. Yeah, we should probably run the long way there, maybe. I don't know. Maybe this way. Yeah. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Friends are shooting me though. Oh my god. Oh, fucking loaded, why is this AK? I run this home. So I'm now realizing, after sitting here listening to myself, talk to myself, that the Discord call that I was in, with my neighbors, did not record any sound for them. So you're just gonna have to imagine what they're saying. But you'll get the idea. Is he dead? Guy on me, at base. I'm gonna throw the airdrop. Screw it. <laughs> yeah, I threw it. I'm gonna loot underneath real quick. So once I threw the airdrop, we picked up positions and people started flooding in. Here's a bow. One dead, one coming around the wall, 140 degrees. Oh no, he's dead. He's dead, two dead. Oh, I'm dead. What the fuck? 
Where's the where are the last? Oh, I should be able to kill them. I should be able to kill them. Where are they? They were telling me they were in between them and in the tower on the left there and the wall that I'm now running at. I should be able to kill them. So I was coming up behind them. Pretty good vantage point on them. And an AK that I brought from home. There was also one I'm told in the tower that I died in. I don't I don't see them. One dead, one dead, one dead. I killed one. One dead, that's me. Yeah, that's me. Killed a guy. Yeah, I might be dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Fuck. That's a shame. That was fun, though. That was fun. We unfortunately got overwhelmed by numbers there, and my teammates got caught out in the open and died, and I sadly went down too. But that was super fun. Day 58. I started off with a bit of road Ready farming to, to try and get myself some low grade, and ended up meeting someone with satellite dishes. Oh, reloaded. Day 59, I started out by looting airfield. I went home, I did a bit of recycling, and I learned AK and hollow sight. Day 60, I went to airfield again. Pretty sure I just saw someone run in here. Let's have a little look, eh? Oh yeah, I can hear steps. There's someone here. What the fuck? Too much. <clears throat> there is simply no way that going anywhere I was. Okay. Now we're leaving. Day 61, I figured it was high time I set up some electricity in my base because I was sick of standing in the dark. And I wanted to make use of that sweet, sweet electric furnace. So I set three up down in my core and then I headed out to farm. Jesus Christ. Let's get the living hell out of me. Beginning again.
get vibey in here, guys. Day 62 was a bit weird because I decided to just go out roaming, looking for a potential raid target. And I stumbled into the most random side quest I think I've ever been given on the game of Rust. Everywhere I go, I think I... Is that a raid base? <laughs> These guys got raided! Yes! I was gonna do it myself, that was my plan anyway, but... Yes! Fuck these guys! Oh my lord, they were loaded. Shloaded, dude. Uh, hello? Oh, hello. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Can you help me, please? <laughs> Can you help me, please? What do you, what do you, you mean? Me, please? <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're stuck in there, bro? <laughs> that was the way. Yeah, I can help you, dude. Hold on. I think. Oh, I'm building block. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Uh. <laughs> Where's TC? Like, is TC available? Maybe I can get you out. I don't know. Oh, let me look. No, I don't know. I want the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not even here, bro. <coughs> I don't see TC, dude. This is weird as shit. I don't know, dude. I can't. I, can't. I don't have a ladder. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on. Do you have a. Let me find a hatchet. Hold on. Hatchet? What? Yeah. I, I need I, to get wood. I got hammer if you want. And I'll find rope and I'll meet you a ladder. I'll be back. <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> nope. <coughs> nope. I'm trying to find rope, dude. There's not much rope out here. <laughs> He's safe in there for now. <laughs> I'll go back for him. I'll go back for him. Hey, do you have- I need rope. Three rope. Do you have any? Oh man. What about sewing kits? Any sewing kits? Come on! There's a man that needs saving! Yes! Okay, two! That was good. Two's good. One more. No! Almost there, buddy. I've got two rope. I need one more. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yes! Okay. We have the rope. Okay. I have the rope. I just need to find a tree. Yes, yes. I just need a tree now. <laughs> yes, good luck. <laughs> There's no trees. Yeah, no wood on, uh, on that zone. Yes, no tree. I wonder what reward I will get for this side quest. Okay, I got the wood. I'm going to craft it now. There we go. Alright, dude, we're getting you out of there. Do you have any food, by the way? I'm really, really hungry. Yes. Don't kill me, please. No, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Don't kill me. <coughs> Where do you live? There you go. Thank You're you. You're free. <laughs> Where is the TC? I, I, need I don't the, know. The I couldn't chest. find it. The chest is broken. I don't know where. Oh, the furnace. I want the furnace. I want all in that base. I don't know where TC is actually. This is weird as shit. Maybe there isn't one. Oh, can I have your name, please? Oh yeah. Can I have? Can I show you? Can I see your name? Oh, you killed me. <laughs> Chaos. Oh, my okay. bad. <laughs> where did I kill you? I don't know. <laughs> probably airfield. Probably airfield. Yeah, maybe. I do enjoy. Day sixty-three. I found <laughs> this guy. Hello, sir. Are you aware you are not hitting anything? <laughs> Look at him go, dude. That's hit auto farm and just gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's either gone for a shit or for food or to answer the door. Have a good life, brother. Is this guy is still here. <laughs> <laughs> He's still here, bro. You go, Freddy. Oh my god, I should like box him in. That would be fucking hilarious. 
I then went on a little roam. Wow, what great timing. Day 64, I was AFK for lunch. Day 65, I died and died again. Oh, there's like five of them, great. So I went back with an AK kit. Uh, no, let's just go to the shots, that's where the raid is. I think those guys just live there <laughs> in that two by one. Or maybe no, that's the guy that killed me. He's wearing my gear set. Ow, dude. I hit him twice. He's pushing me, he's pushing me. Hold on, one sec. He's dead. They're both dead, I think. Oh, he did. What the fuck? He's got no ammo. Day 66. And I'm dead. I got bopped. But I went back and got my stuff because for some reason, they didn't even loot me. Didn't even loot me. Day 67, I hit up another outpost run. I don't really remember why. <laughs> I did some gambling whilst I was there, and sadly, I didn't win so shop sale. again. I came home, and my shop that I had installed in my roof had sold everything. Which is big. Great. 2K cloth. Day 68, I was out and about near airfield when I spotted a duo. That was the guy that got away. I just killed the, uh, you know, I was shooting at two guys at airfield. The, the dude just literally ran to my front door. That's crazy. He is dead. Then a group less than a grid away from me were getting raided online and I decided to head over to see if I could pick up any kids. Thanks to a roof camper, I did not. I was out for the first half of this week and we are back. It's day 69 and, well, there's not long left of day 69. But I thought I would take this time to outline my plan for the remaining 30 days. And there's a few things that I still want to do that I haven't done. 
Obviously one being the main thing, which is like a, a, a big decent raid. Yep, that is right. So I had a couple targets in mind. Paspen was sure that he wanted to raid this base. It was right outside my front door pretty much that you can't really see because it's dark right now, but it's over to the left. It was pretty chunky, it had been there since I had been there, and I had my eyes on it. And soon enough, I will see another base that really piqued my interest as well. But during this time, I had one goal, one very simple goal, and that was to farm sulfur. Well, it had been a long few days farming, and I am building up quite an arsenal in my base of sulfur, being put to use with the electric furnaces. And during my time out here... I met this fellow. Come on, bro, what the fuck? Who I thought was prime for the taking. So I'm pretty sure future me would have told you. But I was just out farming. Day, I think, 76. Um, and yeah, I was just chilling, doing my own business. Farming away. And this dude just jumps out of his base and tries to python on me. I admire him. I admire him. But now I'm going to raid him. Because one, it was really annoying and I don't want it to happen again. And two... It'd actually be a very pleasant place to have a farm base. So I'm hoping he's only got wood doors in there. And I'm hoping that I can get through them and take his base. Because it would be lovely to have this as a little farm base. I can fit it all up and then once I'm ready to go home, hop on a train and off I go. Didn't bring a double door. That'll be a job for future me, but we did it. During this period of time, I kept running out of food and having to F1 kill all the time, which wasn't super fun. I found a random Python box. Huh? <laughs> Must be from that dude. And I assume he'd just been hitting out turrets or something. I got all that home and I let the furnaces smelt up and cook all the explosives that I could. And during the few days where I spent farming sulfur, I had seen this 2x2 two two made of metal, pretty close to where I lived. As you can see here, I couldn't find the footage for it, but that's it right there. It intrigued me. I love raiding 2x2s, two it had a code lock on, I figured it could be loaded. So my plan was now to go and raid that. Alright boys, day 8... 79? Day 79. Uh, so one day before the the plan was to do this, so we're on a good schedule. It's night time. Uh, it's just gone night time. Uh, I've got my 44, I got a bit of this, I got a bit of that, I got everything I might need. Uh, let's go fucking do it, pretty much. We're gonna get there, we're chucking it on. It's gonna explode. We're gonna take down TC, we're gonna build ourselves our own wall and doorway. Pretty nerve wracking, I gotta tell you. On this server, doing this, 
still get yeah, still get you going. Shows this place because I love to raid two by twos, especially metal ones. No, it's a bolty. They're the people that I'm worried about. They're gonna come to it. So I need to be so fucking quick. of you in here and there's nothing in here fuck me <laughs> fucking hell dude that scared the living fuck out of me guy what the shit oh my god I clicked every button other than the ones that I was supposed to click <laughs> come on dude why are you gonna do me like that? Oh, that's a shame. I tell you what, I could have guessed though. The way this run has always gone, I probably could have guessed. Yeah, that sucked. Day 80, I literally went AFK because I had to think about what just happened. I then finished the day off with a light spot of sulfur farming whilst I was watching Netflix, which is why there's no audio on this. Just please don't, don't strike me, Netflix. <laughs> day 81, go I'm just work. gonna let you watch. Just heard the explosions. That way, somewhere. It's gonna be real close to it. Wow, the biggest bait of my whole life. <sighs> okay, dude. Well, I can't even be mad at that. I can't even be mad. That's <laughs> actually kind of cool. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, guy. Day 82, I spent just staring at my furnaces. I know. Sue me. Day 83, it was time to blow the wall out on the base right outside my front door. I was interested to see what was behind it. And well... Crap. There was, there was nothing there. I, I couldn't go any further. But luckily for me, this was a very busy server and noise travels.
wins when I look at him. It's crazy. Now, the fight wasn't over, but I went back to have a look and see how far they'd gotten. There were still a few doors for them to blow through, so while I waited for them to come back with more explosives, I headed over <laughs> to Outpost. Alright, so I'm kind of just waiting on those dudes to go back to that raid that I started, so I've come to Outpost to get some bits and to gamble. Because I love gamble. Alright, come on 20! Come on 20. Wait, come on 20? 20? Yes! Oh my god, that's 2000 scrap, baby! Come on! <laughs> Huge! But I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> what, what do I do with it? Don't really need anything! I guess I could buy an LR. That is what he does. He buys four LRs. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is kill myself. And then I'll hop on a skip home. And what I'm going to do is set my vending machine at home to uh, sell rocks for LRs. So I can then run back here, get the LRs, sell them to myself for rocks, and transport them home safely so I don't get roof camped. <laughs> I just need a safe place to kill myself, really. Not that it really matters, because no one can pick up your stuff, but I kind of like to do it where I'm hidden. This is a... What? What? <laughs> what? <go> what? <gasps> 13 on what's going on? No, no, no. I, okay, so I went over here because I, like, I was trying to find a place where I could, like, kill myself just in case, like, it, it didn't work and someone could loot me. They might not find me. But someone's had the same idea with stuff, I guess. And they've just... <laughs> They've just put it all there. Oh no. Poor guy. I don't really care. I'm actually... What I'm going to do is... <laughs> We'll just buy two more. We'll keep it light. There we go. See? <laughs> oh, look at all of those. That's funny. Okay. Uh, so I guess I just sell these blue cards real quick. So, I was back home. And I was about to redo my vending machine. Oh. Can you hear those shots, everyone? I think they're back. I think they are back at my raid. They are. Very nice. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go counter it, I guess. I'll do this after. Screw this. So it actually looks like my neighbors are there already. Fighting them. Oh, and there's one right up here. This is, uh, it's gonna be interesting. She left so much. What else is there? Something good, please. Is he full kit? Oh my god. Bolty. That's huge. There's someone here. Not anymore.
Any bullets, any bullets, five five. Bullets for what? Bullets for five what? five six. Five five six. Pick, pick, pick. Where's his gun? I don't see his gun. Oh! <laughs> Why is that? No, dude! No! Fuck! That's game over. Try my best. Try my best. Out of guns. We just got outnumbered, really. Uh, that dude outplayed me for sure. I shouldn't have had the bolty out, but, you know, these things happen. I'm pretty sad about it, I won't lie. I should have got away with all of that. I should have put the MP5 in my, ho in my main slot hotbar. That's what I should have done, but hindsight's 2020. Oh, I'm mad. But look, I'm more happy that I actually made that play than, uh, than I am sad to be dead. So it's fine. I've still got the six LRs. <laughs> so I can't really be that bad, can I? I can get there anyway. So with my head held down, I went back to the site where all my LRs were at Outpost. Sold them all to myself. <laughs> there we go. They're all gone. They've all been sent. Here. There they are. And then... Thanks, boys. I logged off. And we'll just get rid of all of that. Sad man, but hopeful what tomorrow might bring. Alright. Last day tomorrow. Let's hope we're still here. Uh, I'll see you all. Day 86. Good news, everyone. Not raided. All right. The next morning. The next few days kind of passed me by in a bit of a haze. I won't lie. I, don't get me wrong. Like, I did stuff. Like, I farmed. Uh, I went to airfield. Uh, I ended up at, like, this weird-ass raid that was happening. But then, like, when I got there, three minutes later, it was just over. I guess he didn't die. He just left. Very strange. Um, but it was a, a strange haze I was in, just in that it was bittersweet. I, I'd been playing for so long, and I'd grown so attached to the server. Okay. Uh, and this, like, just run just that run I was feeling sad, honestly. Like, going into the last ten days here, I was feeling really sad. And even though each time I loaded in, and I wasn't raided, like on day 90... Yeah, baby. I was feeling just... I don't know how to describe it. Just sad <laughs> that it was all coming to a close. But I knew I wanted one big finale to go out with a bang with. And I had one last airdrop in my chest that I knew I wanted to be the finale. So in the midst of upgrading my base, recycling, adding a top floor to my base, I knew that this was all coming to an end. Let's see what we've built, huh? It's been 90... 91 days. Let's have a look. Oh, I love it! <laughs> I don't know why I'm so shocked. It's, it looks exactly the same. It just has a roof. But I do, I love it. Oh, man. And now it was time for me to start some beef with my new neighbours. <laughs> What are you gonna do? 
too. Ej, bomżara, bomżara stoi, stoi bomżara, nisi, nisi bo schony. Nothing like a bit of good old roof camping to get them riled up. See, my aim here is for them to raid me, online raid me. I want them to do it, but I don't know how else to piss them off. Other than, you know, door camping! <laughs> I guess you know what they say, you can't beat them, join them, and I've been door camped and uh, roof camped this whole while, so if I really wanted them, this to piss them off for them to raid me. This, this was my goal, I wasn't just doing this because I'm an ass, <laughs> although this does make me an ass. The server was pretty active by now as it was a weekend and I must have started up a honeypot with all those gunshots because there was a lot going on right outside my base. the war right outside my own doorstep but my beef was not with the people fighting it was with the people that you can hear bolting over there my new neighbors I wanted them to raid me so that will explain to you why I'm staring down at these people right outside my base and not shooting them I didn't want to roof camp these guys because I didn't want to be a dick to them I wanted to be a dick to my neighbors just checked. I didn't record it. Fuck. I ran outside. I'm going to have to show you. I ran outside with a DB and I shot some dude in the head and I got like half the kit that was on the floor. Here, the white kit. Days 93, 94 and 95 was spent me just running the road looking for sewing kits because I was now out of sewing kits to make armor sets with and I desperately needed them. Day 96 I got a jump scare in the middle of the night. English, man. Yeah, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Where even were you? How did you see Yeah. Me? Uh, uh, I don't know. My AMD settings are weird as shit. I tried to fix them, but I did something that my light like actually looked quite a bit better. Okay. Holy shit. Look, look, look. Holy shit. Uh, what, shit. what? I can't see a fucking thing, dude. Uh, look at what? The oh, fuck! So it's day 96. And there's more action around me than there's ever been. Even though there's only 260 people on. So I'm thinking I do the big airdrop throne now. Could be really fun. I mean, there's no shot I get the airdrop. <laughs> there's no way. 
There's gonna be so many groups coming and stuff. Fucking hell. That scared the living fuck out of me. We're doing it now, baby. Where's the smoke? There we go. I'm doing it now. I don't care. I do not care. Let's get it. No matter what I do to these guys, they just won't come and raid me. I'm hoping the air drop will fulfill them to do it enough. It's pretty close now. All I have to do is dodge lots of roof camping. <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> One more, I killed one more out. out. Right there, full kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cover me, cover me. I'm man. coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, pick up. Did you, did you oh, uh, pick wait, up wait, the wait, drop? Wait, 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 wait. No, uh, he did. Oh, bro. Sorry, bro, sorry, bro. Pick up the loot, pick up the loot, pick up the loot. My bad, bro. Oh, fuck. I'm fuck. Sorry. <laughs> oh, bro. Okay. My bad. <laughs> come in, come in, come okay, in, come okay. in, come in. The Iceland kit. The Iceland kit. Come in, come in, come in. Man, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm man. sorry. I just shot you. Oh, my okay, fucking uh... God. But, but, but you, you didn't lose nothing. No. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. I, I got everything. You, uh, so, uh, what do you need? Just give me uh, the... Yeah, just give me that, yeah. No, man, it's okay, it's okay. You can, you, you kill the guy who, the, the K-man, so it's okay, it's okay, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's, I'm sorry, dude. I shot Open you twice. Me, <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh Let my god, kid. sorry. <laughs> my, my friend, my friend is saying it's uh, in, on... Certainly not as grandiose as I was expecting. I was expecting a huge fight to break out, to be honest. But, it is what it is. We got kits. We got guns. We got an AK. Day 97, I had a very wholesome nah. interaction with my neighbors. But you go... But you go... Leave and don't play anymore. For yep. the rest of... I wipe. Yep. Nah, man. <laughs> nah, you were joking. I'm not, I'm not. I'll nah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna find a solo to give my base to. So they can defend it with, with you guys. But, but the solo guy isn't you. Isn't, isn't to uh, be the same. <laughs> oh man, you're making me feel sad. Yeah, I, it's supposed <laughs> to. You, you go stay there to play with us. Next, twice you go play with us, man. I can be, I can be the solo guy for the video. <laughs> I change my Steam name. <laughs> That's cheating. I change my cheating. Steam na name to solo guy, and you give me, <laughs> you make the scene. Oh, thank you, man! Oh my God! Oh no! Oh, please, please, okay! Oh my God! Then you stop recording and uh, <laughs> back you off on the game. <laughs> That's cheating, that's cheating. This guy was so lovely, but there was something in the air. Something I couldn't put my finger on. When I woke up on day 98, I found out what it was.
Well, everyone. I think we all knew this day was coming. I thought it was going to be way before day 98, so I'm very pleased it has happened now. I must say. They built a raid base. And they griefed. There's something I want to do for the last day. Um, but it's day 98. I was going to get on and give my base away today. But that's not obviously going to happen. <laughs> so I am going to watch the sunset. And then on day 99, I'm going to do the special thing I had planned. We are down here where, where it all began. And then here is where like my first allied little goot was. I think there was two or three of them. Beep. Beep. <laughs> they were really nice. Although we couldn't speak to each other much. I believe they ended up getting raided as well. Then here we are. There's someone built right on it, but this is right where we started. The very first foundations we put down two and a bit weeks ago. Beautiful. Alright, let's get a bag down. Alright, we have a base. Part one of the plan is complete. Pretty much right where this is, actually. Almost exactly. Uh, we had a lot of fights over this way. In fact, over here is where I got that the first SAR that I ended up losing. To the raid, but where I killed him with a bow. But yeah, there we go. And it went from this, this. And everything in between. Present, present. Stop. Present. present. <laughs> Now, I know things didn't really work out how I had hoped they would. Maybe they didn't work out how you hoped they would. But honestly, these past few weeks, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I met amazing people. And yeah, I had a lot of fun. Uh, I would not trade what happened for anything else, to be honest. It was an absolute pleasure and an absolute blast. And I will be doing it again. Now, what's left to do... Is watch the sunset again on day 99 into 100. Yeah. <laughs> what a way to go into day 100 by getting killed. Classic this server. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Leave a like, leave a comment to let me know that you made it all the way through. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back. I am back. This is me back uploading. I will see you again in a couple weeks for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>